The mathematics was simple. To go up, Starrick's side needed a better result than MK Dons could manage up at Stockport County. But where's Willie? Was just about to kick off and the chairman's still not here. Apparently, Carson was up the road on a working lunch at Newbury Races. Nothing there would have got off to a quicker start than the team in red colours. The tension and the deadlock died five minutes. One from the tea lady to the tannoy man was under orders not to update the boss on events at Edgeley Park, where MK Dons now had to score. They did. Clive Platt coolly levelled the equation. For now, Swindon's only concern was beating Mansfield, who weren't standing in their way. John Olaf Yelder put through his own net. Starrick's side had turned up for their big occasion. Still no sign of the little big man, however. Haven't seen him yet. At Stockport, MK Dons were still believing in their unlikely dream of automatic promotion. Keith Andrews put them two up. Never mind, at least the chairman had arrived at the county ground to see the last 15 minutes. And Carson was soon on the edge of his seat. Anthony Pilkington had scored for Stockport. If they could get another, Swindon's party was back on. Into added time and Sturrock could watch no longer. But that's a regular ritual. Another win was Swindon's, but despite brief hysteria, there was no late show at Stockport. With two games left, Swindon are six points clear. Crossing the line should be a formality. But then they once said the same about Evan Locke.